back up. And I'm Sean. Welcome to Buzz Buzz Game, Game Time. time. Oh Welcome back to more Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, the original, the Game Boy Advance version, of course. Oh, uh, here we are, back. We finally made it to the top of, uh, like, wait, uh, I think, Hoo Hoo Mountain is technically what I think you're supposed to pronounce it. Well, Ho Ho Mountain is what we've been calling it. Yeah. At the top of Ho Ho, the Mountain of the Hoes, I, maybe we'll, oh god, I just started, we'll see some hoes at the top of this mountain. Whoa, Damn. amazing, I don't know if I'm gonna say it like that. Really? You know what, well, let's not say it like that. We'll see what we see. Sure. I see a big telescope Cheers. right in front of us, so. Cheers. Cheers! What are we gonna yes. see at the top of this mountain? We finally made it after all this, uh, after the journey of the last episode. Here we go. Mm. All right. All right, mm -hmm. it's, it's game, game time. time. Let's do this thing. Okay, right, so you go. Uh, yeah, 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 sure. You should take a look at the, the telescope. Yeah, it's worth it. Oh, well, yeah, and yeah, you can move around. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, yes. There's a lot of interesting uh, things to see, isn't there? There's a lot of stuff. Uh, Kyle, of course, blind playthrough. Never play this. I've played this game uh, a few times in my childhood. Oh, I remember some of these locations. You're hovering over the telescope. Oh, I remember that. I remember that one. I definitely remember that one. What they are, I'm not going to say... Kyle, you gotta play the game, of course. Oh, wow, there's a save block. Save thing right here. Hmm, I wonder why. Hmm. Yeah. Come on. There you go. Yeah, so do it. Do the manual save. Damn, you leveled up. Yeah, don't yeah, don't go down the steps yet. Not yet. Like, just, just keep on walking around. Like, is there any secrets? Uh, some of that stuff you can't do. In fact. Oh, what's going on? What's up? What? What happened? I mean, right now. What? Wait. The no. oh. The no, oh, Kyle. Wait. Technical problems. Uh, the. Oh, oh, there you go. All right. Yeah. No, I, I, I think, I think we're good. We're just good to go. It's, right. it's back. All right. It's back as long as long as you're a good Kyle. The tech, some technical problems. Don't worry about it. Like, I just wanted you to walk around the mountain. Any anything to see? Any anything to find? I think the stuff that's there, you can't get it yet. No. So, when you're ready, I can see. I can commentate. Walk down those steps when you're ready. And uh, yeah. Hey, look at this. Wow, what's this? Right? There it is. Kick the thing. Oh, sound like this thing. I remember. This. What are you kicking that stone? What, what are you kicking that for? It's a really rare stone. It's a ho ho block. It summons the hose. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I summon the hose. Why not? And I'll tell you, anyone who tries to kick a ho ho block down the mountain is a thief in my book. They try to steal my hose. Oh uh, god. I mean, I mean, they have feelings too, so you know you can't. Well, it's not like uh, uh, they're trying to steal my hose. There's a word for for what you are, then, uh, sir. <laughs> huh? My name? Oh, right. I'm Blab Blablanadon. What the hell? Blablanadon. Huh. You made that up. You definitely made up that name, right? Is this like a? Was that the town folks are all worried about me? Really? I didn't mean to make them worry. This had to be made. Where, like, this was like what? Early thousands? It was made. Yeah, oh, and the copyright said 2003 at the title screen. Yeah, uh, it, yeah, when you replaced it with the Zs, I'm like, yeah, that's early 2000s. What's that? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, that's early 2000s. Yeah. Prince P. See, what happened is this. I saw Prince Peasley and followed him up here. And then I saw this huge A get appeared. I was shocked. Hey. Speechless, which is rare. Is I'm, yeah, I, I think we can tell, dude. We can tell. Got like, quite a lot to say, man. We're not here for all this. Yeah, we didn't want your life story, dude. So anyway, I've just been here keeping this poor egg warm ever since. Yup, that's the deal. Well, just wait a little longer. I'm sure Link will come over to Link's Awakening. <laughs> to wake you up? <laughs> I think something will hatch out of it pretty soon. That's what happens with eggs, huh? If you're an idiot. Well, so, did you know? Did you know things hatch out of eggs? Oh, oh, it's here. 
It's time! Oh wow, it's about to hatch! I can't take the suspense! So what's funny, I always saw this thing as a, as a male. Uh, uh... Gogwa! Oh, we lost the, the whole old block. Oh, look at this. Let's see, look what happened. The oh, whole block. How convenient. Right into the chimney of that house. Uh-huh, of course. Huh. Well, that's a shock. Talk about one crazy egg. Yeah, you had no idea what was that about. And he killed y'all. Oh, yeah. He freaking killed him, and then he killed him. His own father, dead. Again, I always saw that thing as a male, by the way. Killed his own father. All right, here's our battle. It ain't a friendly uh, child, that's for sure. So, well, wink, wink, why is there a save point? Why is there a save block? Because this is a boss battle, as a matter of fact. You know what I just noticed? You never healed, did you? I child? know, I swear never to God, healed, now I see like, oh, God, there was no Yeah, we're making the classic mistake we always make in, in Paper Mario, and now Mario Luigi continues the trend on Buzz Game Time. Am I right? Oh, well, Kyle, do your best. This is a boss battle, after all. Yes, like, remember, it's... Exactly the button, yes, silly. Yes, you, you remember, it's exactly what the button is, that's what you push in order. Okay, got it. Oh, yeah, it's all about, unlike Paper Mario, also about... Well, good Jones news, got a lot of mushrooms. There's a lot of mushrooms, you're right, yeah, you, you're right, we, we have a ton of mushrooms. We, we, we honestly, I think, I think you're, real talk, I think you're set, Kyle. What, we got 22 mushrooms? Oh, come on, you can totally do this, boss, Kyle. Yeah. Look, at the thing, Dragon Ho-Ho. Oh shit, it's Dragon Ho-Ho. What is this? Is, Kyle, is this a new Pokemon? It's the dragon version of Ho-Ho? Oh shit. Right? Like, that's literally the joke that you could totally make. It's Dragon Ho-Ho. Dragon flying type. Dragon fire, actually, if it's Ho-Ho. Alright. Got him. Whoa. Yeah, but Kyle, yeah, you, you can kind of, uh, kind of telling how to dodge it, right? Or, like, what's going on here? Yeah, for now. Uh... Okay, and remember, all the enemies have a tell of who exactly which brother they're going to attack they all yeah. pay attention to their animation you can tell exactly who they're attacking until i figure that once you yeah once learn. i figure that out yeah yeah once you learn it yeah that that's well that's the beauty it's the simple beauty of this game oh yeah right you got the advanced version so kyle take your pick yeah. uh Technically, it depends. Once you understand what the advanced ones do, some are better at multiple enemies. Yeah. Some are better at a single target. It's it just I, I honestly don't uh, remember exactly what they're all do. Be for that one, or is it just? No, Kyle. With at a certain point, there'll be a split where either you could push A or B. Yeah. That is where it splits into the advanced route versus the basic standard route. I don't remember. At this point, you already unlocked the advanced. I don't remember exactly what the advanced route is. If, if you do the advanced route, trust me, it says advanced. It will literally oh. say advanced, and it did. So you, you chose the advanced on accident, and that's why you kind of messed it up. If it says advanced, then the, that's, the, that's the alternate route. Oh, whoops. I didn't want that, but all right. What the fuck? What the? <laughs> Freaking barfing up some rocks? <laughs> oh, dude, Mario about to die, bro. Oh, Mario dead. Taken out. He took out the brother. Yeah! Oh, my Luigi! Oh. He's freaking out! Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I'm hitting bros. Yeah, because he's dead. Yeah, the, 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 the thinking part about this, he's dead. So you can't. But Kyle, oh, I mean, you have a lot of one-ups. Think about what one-ups do in basic Mario. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what they do in this game. They revive him with half HP. This is pretty much a revive in Pokemon, Kyle. Like, yep, there you go. Uh, take advantage of it. You might- the brothers are gonna be dying a lot in the future, by the way, Kyle. No, no, you better- you should learn what they do now. Cause, oh yeah, the brothers will definitely be dying later on. I- I almost guarantee that. Uh, for now, this is just one of the only- the very first boss battles, after all. Dragon Ho-Ho, die. Boom! Another nine. What the fuck? How do you dodge this? So I'ma teach you about this fight. Before you select to attack, pay attention. Pay, pay careful. Well, after you just hit, yes, you should heal. When you when you're ready to attack, Kyle, don't get don't be hasty. Think about it. Think about what he did. Think about what happened with the for instance with the rock, Kyle. Think about it. How is he attacking you now? He jumps on the rock. Yeah. Well, I mean, oh. I, I, I don't need to say it like that. He jumps on the rock to attack you now. 
Fun fact, it's like those uh, purple dragon uh, dinosaur enemies from Super Mario World. Kyle, it, you might not notice, the more you attack his head, he got shorter and shorter and shorter. So now he's very short. So, to compensate, he jumps on a rock. Uh, oh yeah, okay. No, oh yeah, yeah, you might need more bros points, yeah, give or take. I don't know if you need it yet. Right, look, you got, you got, you got all that. What, what the fuck? Kyle, oh, whenever you're bad. ready, I mean... Yeah, well, it's all good. Kyle, whenever you're ready, I mean, I, I... At a certain point, I recommend attacking. Don't be hasty, Kyle. No, well, you were hasty. Ne no, don't worry. Next up, next up. There we go. It's... You can dodge it, but it's much harder. So before you attack, push B once. Do not attack yet. Take a look at it around. You can attack the stone. That's what I wanted you to see, Kyle. To, by, don't be hasty. I mean, you can attack the stone. You don't have to, Kyle. I'll tell you right now, you don't have to, but think about what he does to attack you. What do you think is going to happen if you attack the stone? Like, again, I feel like a lot of this stuff... I'm, I'm, I'm trying to not... Guys, chat, I'm not trying to... It's a blind playthrough. I don't want to hold your hand completely, Kyle, but there's a part of it, like, seriously, I don't think you're going to do this unless I told you. I mean, because you weren't doing it before. I mean, what can I say? You literally didn't even notice that, did you? Yeah, I would never notice. So it. it's, uh, by doing it, it makes the battle outright easier. You will succeed much easier in the battle if you learn to take out the rock, for instance. Uh, if you were gonna find it on your own, forgive me guys, I'm just gonna tell, uh, heavily imply, heavily hint, Kyle, like, please, wink, wink, you should try to defeat, you should try to destroy that rock, Kyle, taking out the rock will definitely make this battle easier, trust me, it'll definitely make it easier, boom, done. Oh, he got taller, yo, he's fucking tall now, and so it acts like he's on the rock, he gets, it's harder to dodge the, uh, bullets, Kyle, it's harder to dodge the things he shoots out when he's tall or he's on the rock. There you go. Mm -hmm. Technically, it's harder to dodge when he's on the rock because he gets closer to you when he attacks. Oh, okay. Careful, yeah, there. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, you, you didn't. You weren't completely ready for what I was going to do. Um, alright, so. You can, uh, you're kind of out of bros points for both the bros now, so. Yeah. Uh. Oh, next time he's down. Okay. Yeah, because because you you if you jump on him, Kyle, just like the purple dragon enemy, right? Yeah. It uh it makes them shorter. It, he he's like he acts like a purple dragon enemy from Super Mario World. He gets he gets shorter when you jump on his head. Okay. Ugh, oh. Fucking it look nasty, right? But that thing is as big as his body, by the way. It's bigger. In fact, it's bigger than his body. Nasty, right? How the hell did he even get that thing out of him? All right. I think I got his uh, strategy on this. Okay. There you go. Destroy, yeah. Again, it's it's tr it's trust me. It's definitely for for the in my opinion, it's for the best that you just destroy the block first. It's it's makes the battle way easier to destroy the block. Uh. Yeah. Again, not to hold your hand too much. Uh, you think think you want to heal the bros points, Kyle? You can hear the bros points. The, the the bros points are like the FP of this game, and just like that, use syrup. Use syrup to uh to to revive this, and I highly recommend it. The bros attacks are the most powerful thing in the entire game, after all. So I'm gonna tell you right now, they are the most powerful attack in the whole game. It's totally worth it. There we go. Uh, for now. No, but you're getting there. I think I think you're you're doing you're doing well, Kyle. Now that you know the, the quote unquote secret of this battle, just take out the rock, keep on keeping on, just attack him, attack, attack, and eventually he'll go down. This, this boss is uh, it's not that tricky once you understand what's what's up with this guy. Okay, there we go. Okay, now now get his broke points back. Luigi, and then we can start again. And then you can start, you start, uh, attacking him. Yeah, you exactly. start with Mario. Yeah. Bros, here we go. Splash. Let's go. There 
There you go. And, and you made him shorter. Yeah, Seacott, once you once you get the hang of the bros moves, it does nine damage and it shortened him and it fucking just it just feels fun. It's it's great and the fun animation and all that good stuff. Yeah. It, it just it just feels really, really fun to do them. Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna repeat myself from the previous episode. This is why I love bros points, uh, bros uh, moves. I love bros moves that only existed in the first game. They they took it out of the second and beyond to replace it with bros items. Item. Oh. Great. Yeah. You'll go down eventually, man. I mean, you're, you're doing damage. I'm like, damn, man, this guy has a lot of HP, doesn't he, man? When I said a boss battle, Kyle. Yeah, no, this is what boss battles were like in this game. Man, the dude is taking a long time to go down. Not gonna... It's like, Kyle, we're like at the end of the, this episode. Damn, he's still fighting this guy, man. All right. Okay. All right. Oh, wait. I don't know. Eh, eh, no, it's, it's fine. Well, uh, damage is, to him is still Oh, good. I hit the and rock. No he, that's what the advanced one does, Kyle. It attacks multiple enemies. Now you know, Kyle. Now you know. That bro's advanced attacks d multiple enemies at the same time. So it's better uh, when there's a lot of targets on the screen. Yeah. If it, all in due time, you'll learn what's good and what's bad in, in certain fights. The beauty of the bro's moves, after all. Some are better in other situations. Some in, in good situations. Some are not as good as in, in a boss battle. Yeah. Right, so sometimes like, if you want to do a lot of damage to the guy, it might be actually weaker to do the advanced one. It's weaker, but it attacks multiple targets. Okay, that's what I'm saying, Kyle. Not gonna lie, I feel like that one is doing less damage than the other one might do if you did the normal standard version. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out how to do that one. You just push B. No, no at the very start, instead of pushing A, you push B. Well, let, let me be very clear. The very first thing, you have a choice of A or B. You continue to choose A, which is the advanced path. The standard version is actually oh, there you go. smart, but it doesn't matter because you beat him. See, I know all in due time. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need to like teach you too much because in the end you were able to do it and it's it's over. Like it, it's gonna die, it's gonna go down. It, regardless, it's all about how quickly you kill him. Is is the only thing I'm talking about, guys. Yeah. Someone that played this game and loves it to death. Man, those oh, bros yeah. moves. Uh... I got real good at the bros moves. Let's do Rose points, should we? You defeated him. Take, uh, Kyle, take your pick. Um, actually, if I haven't clarified now, I feel like it's appropriate now, now, because now we're gonna get into the part of like level seven beyond, and we beat like one of the first major bosses of the story, guys. And Kyle, Kyle, HP is obviously if you're feeling like you're ever sweating too much, you're taking too much damage, the bros are dying a lot. Oh yeah, then HP. Yeah. That's it. And let me just walk you through it nice and quick. Bros points or FP. You want to do more yeah. damage, more bros points? That's always... That's just FP luck, and speed, yeah, the best power, power. Power is always a solid choice. Power, to me, is for just raw, if you're going offense, because it affects both the power of the standard attacks that take no bros points and the bros moves. It affects both. Okay. Defense is the same. It affects your defense against everything if you take damage. But to, well, as as me, if if uh once you understand and play the game, the game's combat, as you can tell, Kyle, is all about all or nothing. Okay. If you're good at dodging, you never need defense because you dodge and take zero damage. Finally, speed, Kyle. Speed is how quickly they move. As in, all uh, Mario, Luigi, and all enemies have a, a speed stat, Kyle. Yeah. If you have higher speed, you move before enemies, which can definitely help. If you, it's like Pokemon. If you can, if you can go before them, then yeah. you can kill them before they even attack you and to then begin stash with. Stash is luck. Yeah. Stash is luck, which for critical hit, the lucky, which is critical hits, all la Pokemon, and also a little hidden secret thing that maybe I'll tell you when it's more relevant. Yeah. Wink, wink. That those that play this game. There's a secret side to the stash points, Kyle, that if you're playing blind, of course you don't know. But for now, that's enough about that. Power, I like it, Kyle, you did power. Uh, I'll, I'll do this. <laughs> Cheers to you and your mustaches. Cheers to your mustaches. Wait, wait, uh, hey, 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 hey,
Yeah, 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 yeah no, I know. I'm this guy's one, but hang on. This, this, it's, what the heck? This timer thing is just kind of freaking out now. Uh, okay, that's out of the way. <laughs> this dazzling, incredibly dazzling man is none other than Prince Beasley. What happened to you? Shing! There's a sound of it. Kyle, like, to me, I always saw this guy. <laughs> Kyle, honestly, I always saw this guy as, as a, like, a Lord Farquaad from Shrek. Well, I suppose you could call it a bit of an accident. As in, Kyle, he's very regal, very elegant, very flashy. Oh, very like, demure. But he's, <laughs> but he's a very, he's an idiot, Kyle. Like Lord yeah. Farquaad, he's a fucking idiot. I'm uh, sorry Lord to say, Farquaad. Prince Peasley. You're a real idiot. How do you think he got into his mess? He's about to say some stuff. How do you think this dude found him in this me in this mess? We're about to find out. As I was in my wait, as I was investigating on my journey, I, I came across a thing. I suddenly encountered Capacita and her vile underling Fawful here on this mountain. There you go. But by the time I realized who the fiends were, it was too late. So he's an idiot. It's I, I like to think it's like Team Rocket. He's an idiot. So you're an idiot. I get it. They're transforming to that. Got me inside the egg. Ching! But I'm free now. Have a good night. Like Kali's like, oh, isn't it fabulous? I got, I fucking got owned and trapped by Fawful. Ching! How fabulous am I, right? Like, yeah. right, Kali? He's, he's an idiot, man. Is that so, Prince Peaches? Uh, Princess Peach's voice has been stolen. Ching! And that's my problem, how? Yeah. <laughs> right? Uh, 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 you see that winger fact? <laughs> I wouldn't worry about... I'm quite sure she'll be fine. At any rate, we should chase after Cacklata. I want you to visit Queen Bean, 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 Bean Castle once you climb down the mountain. Yep. As you plebs, I have my little flying thing. You plebs can climb down the mountain yourself. It may be that Cacklata's next target is the in Bean, Bean Castle. I'd bet my life on it. Oh, well, all right. Oh, <laughs> here's a gift from me. Autographed, of course. Ching! Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, what the fuck is this? Nice. We didn't ask for this. <laughs> yes, I think a rose matches your green perfectly. If you show that rose at Bean Bean Castle, they'll permit you to enter. Of course, why would they not? How fabulous I am. And with that, I must get back. Sure you will, dude. Sure. It's not like we freed you or nothing. For real. Notice how he didn't even thank you for freeing him, by the way. He never thanked you at all during that whole conversation. Yeah. May we meet again? He's like, oh, I just got caught. He never thanked you at all. Never, never a single word of thanks. And he also left your ass on top of the mountain, by the way. If not for this dude, you would have had to walk your ass down the mountain, Kyle. Am I like literally, yes. That dude did not intend to uh, bring you guys down the mountain, even though you saved him. <laughs> this guy. Yeah. All right. So. Next Anyways, time. uh, Prince Peasley. Oh, uh, this guy. We'll we'll see him in the future. For now, cheers, guys. That'll be the end of this episode. I'm satisfied. One of the first major boss battles down. Congratulations, Kyle. Yeah. Um. Oh man, I got the burps coming. Next time, guys. We are finally done with Ho-Ho Mountain. Jesus Christ, we're done with Ho-Ho Mountain. It's over. The struggle is done, and we got a shortcut down. Next up on the journey, as he said, though, I want you to talk to Queen Bean and Bean Bean Castle. Oh, we're going to the kingdom next. Nice. Okay. Interesting. Cheers, guys. Let's find out what awaits us in Bean Bean Kingdom or Bean Bean Castle, whatever they said. Next time, maybe? Yeah. Find out. Cheers.